Archie Harrison, the son of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry, is yet to join his parents out in public on their 10-day Africa tour that started on Monday. When are we going to see baby Archie? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have began their first overseas tour as a family. The couple have brought their soon-to-be five-month-old son Archie Harrison on his first trip outside of Europe to Southern Africa. The family arrived in Cape Town, South Africa on Monday, but despite the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appearing at multiple events, little Archie is yet to be seen. When will Archie Harrison appear in public? The published plans for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex Africa tour do not include engagements featuring their son Archie. However, he is expected to make an appearance at some point. According to royal sources, Meghan and Harry hope to include him in their busy program, but will make last-minute decisions. The decisions will reportedly be based on how Archie is getting on in his unfamiliar surroundings. Meghan and Harry will meet with Archbishop Desmond Tutu on Wednesday, but then split for the next stage of the tour? It is possible the couple will choose to bring Archie to this meeting due to the more subtle circumstances. But again, this decision will be made last minute. Archie will stay with mum Meghan in South Africa, while Harry will travel to Botswana. On Wednesday afternoon the Duchess will visit the Woodstock Exchange to meet female entrepreneurs in and investors working in technology. On Thursday she is due to spend part of the day in a private women in public service breakfast at the High Commission in Cape Town. Harry will travel alone to Botswana, Angola and Malawi where he will follow in the footsteps of his late mother Princess Diana. The Duke will work on clearing landmines and HIV awareness. A spokesman for the couple said, the Duke of Sussex's love for Africa is well known, he first visited the continent at the age of 13 and more than two decades later, the people, culture, wildlife and resilient communities continue to inspire and motivate him every day. As Her Majesty's Commonwealth Youth Ambassador, the Duke now has a platform to be able to support young people across Africa in reaching their full potential. Through her patronages, the Duchess will be working with organizations to promote women's education, health, entrepreneurship and leadership. The Duchess of Sussex is particularly looking forward to the opportunity to learn from inspirational women in the region. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have kept the identity of Archie's nanny under wraps, but some fans have managed to catch a glimpse of her on the couple's tour of South Africa. Royal fans managed to spot the elusive nanny in the background when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived in South Africa for their royal tour. Meghan was carrying Archie, who was wearing an adorable white hat, while their nanny walked behind them. A source told The Sun, Meghan is a very hands-on mum but the new nanny is a godsend. She is extremely professional, with a number of nannying years under her belt, and has fitted into the family really well. Archie's nanny is just one of 13 people who are joining them on their 10-day trip. Their entourage includes travel coordinators and a social media operative. The nanny, who has not been named, will be caring for Archie when Harry and Meghan are attending events. Archie and the nanny are currently based at the High Commissioner's residence in Cape Town for the first leg of the trip. Meghan returned there this afternoon when Harry went off to an event with the Royal Marines. Reportedly, it is normal for royal parents to take their nanny away with them on a tour. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's nanny Maria Barallo is a regular companion on their overseas ventures. On Kate and Prince William's latest trip to Nice, the nanny joined them when they visited Elton John's villa. So far, there has not been a glimpse of baby Archie. Royal fans are desperate for the young royal to emerge at some point. However, Meghan and Harry have kept their fans guessing and have not announced an appearance yet. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge usually include child-friendly activities into their trips. But the Sussexes has not included Archie-based activities. Meghan and Harry have said they will see how they feel regarding the five-month-old's public appearance. A palace source said, the Duke and Duchess are very much looking forward to experiencing South Africa as a family but have no concrete plans as to when those opportunities will arise. Archie is only five months old so it's very much a case of seeing how they are all feeling when they arrive and of course there are the security issues to fully consider when traveling with a small child. 
Even though he has not been spotted yet, there were snaps of him taken when the family arrived at the airport. Compared to recent trips, the royal couple traveled commercially. Over the summer, the Sussexes were heavily criticized for traveling on private jets. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was born on May 6 this year.